less than three days to go now before the state Democratic convention. Two of the top candidates for governor are officially joining forces. Greenwich businessman Ned Lamont and former Secretary of State Susan Bicewitz say they are a team now. Bicewitz running for lieutenant governor. Here's Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis. The political marriage of Greenwich businessman Ned Lamont and former Secretary of the State Susan Bicewitz was formally announced outside Lamont's headquarters in New Haven. With Bicewitz now running for lieutenant governor, it removes one of Lamont's top competitors for delegates to the party state convention this weekend. It likely means that Bridgeport Mayor Joe Gannam is now Lamont's strongest opponent when the convention balloting begins on Saturday. Gannam, who is already gathering signatures to get on the primary ballot, says he will run even if he doesn't qualify at the convention. I saw what was going on over at the Republican convention. Uh, they can keep taking their pot shots. Uh, we're going to stick to the issues, talk about where we want this state to go, be unified, I hope, coming out of this convention. I think it's, it's clear that this will be a tough election. I think both parties are taking that into account. And I think both of us agreed that united we have the best chance. But sources within the New Haven delegation, the largest to this weekend's convention, tell News 8 they had wanted the running mate to be a person of color. A high-ranking member of the New Haven delegation saying that he was livid about what he called the, quote, all-white club. We are very committed to have qualified, competent people uh, that show the diversity of our state, uh, appointed to job chips, to commissioner positions, to deputy commissioner positions, to boards and commissions. Some good news about this weekend's Democratic Party convention. The state Democratic Party chairman Nick Valletto telling News 8 that they're doing away with that long process of the roll call of all the cities and towns, that the town chairman will actually vote by computer, which should speed things along. From the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.